this video I am going to show you how to create video lessons and training videos fast by using an amazing screencasting software iSpring Cam Pro. This software is a screen recorder as well as a lightweight video editor and it is a complete solution if you are developing online courses or training videos for your staff members even if you are creating YouTube videos and this video is a complete tutorial of iSpring Cam Pro and I will try my best to cover at least 90% of the features of this software if not 100%. Take a cup of coffee and watch complete video and I am sure you will get a value. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools for teachers and students. If you are interested in this topic, I would highly appreciate if you hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. And a disclaimer and a big thanks to iSpring for sponsoring this video because this software is highly relevant and useful for my audience. Now without further ado, I am going to start the tutorial. Now I have removed myself from the screen so that I could show you the complete screen and now I will be starting iSpring Cam Pro from this iSpring suite because I have this account but you can also get individual iSpring Cam Pro so I click on that. Now this is iSpring suite screen for screen casting I click on screen casting and now I have two options the first is record screen cast and the second is create project. So let's see what happens if I click on record screen cast. It will take few seconds and then you will see this screen. Now I opened my window which I want to record. Let us assume that this is the software which I want to teach to my students and now I will adjust my window within this or I can also adjust this as well just like that and now if you look here the dimensions are 1280 by 720. Normally we want to record our screen at 1920 by 1080 but don't worry about this at this stage because we can do this later on because iSpring Cam Pro is a lightweight video studio and what it means is that you first record a video then you edit a video and then you publish a video. Publishing means you create a video, your finalized video inside iSpring Cam Pro. And there are three options at the top, record screen without webcam, record webcam without a screen and record both. So let me show you both the screen recording and the webcam. So I select this and now as you can see that my picture appears at the corner. I can move this and I can adjust this at any position but even if you put it at a wrong position you can later on move it because it will be recorded as a separate stream. So let us put it here and now I click on this red button to start the new recording. So I click it will start counting 3 to 1 and now it has started new recording. Now pay attention to few things here and I am going to click on this area. I click here and a new screen opens. Then let's say I click on this date, another screen opens. Now I close this screen. So this is my third action and then I close this screen. This is my fourth action and now let us say I click on this butler. So this is another action and it opens a new screen. Now at this point I click on this stop button and now we are inside our new project as you can see here. So in the beginning if you start from screen recording when you finish recording you will automatically become inside the project. So you don't have to start the project but you can start project first if you want and if you have started the project first you can click on this record video and it will show the same screen from where we started recording this video. Now it has recorded the video and it is showing me this screen recording complete and the actions which I was taking on that software those actions are stored as annotations and if I click on this it will add those annotations to the screen recording which I am going to show you in a minute and now I click on continue. So let me maximize this and if you want to reduce this top area you hover over this line click and drag and this is my screen casting plus webcam recording. 
this webcam is a separate recording i can still move it and adjust the position of my video as you can see that this is my webcam and at the bottom is my screen casting now let me show you some of the features of this ispring cam pro software and i will try to explain almost every feature but if i have missed something you can ask it in the comments area so the first thing is at the lower left corner you have this zoom which you can use to see the complete video you can zoom it now i can play this video by clicking on this arrow and because it played in my headphone you won't be able to hear this and no because when you are explaining something your voice and the explanation must be synchronized so you don't move the position of your webcam footage relative to the screen casting footage and no let's say i want to cut this from this point to this point because it's a empty space to do that i select this footage i click on this icon split and now we have two parts then i select the second one and i split this as well then i move this needle to the final position select this stream and split this select the second stream and split this and i don't want this portion so i click on that and i delete and then i select these one by one and i combine these two and i'm not going into details of video editing the purpose is just to show that you can do this lightweight video editing inside ispring cam pro these are my annotations let me scroll towards right these are the points where i was performing some action i was clicking on something so what this screen casting software is doing is it is putting some text here so if for example you are recording a training video or a video lesson you can put some explanation here you can write something in these annotations instead of this text so i can type something like this for due date click here and now let's talk about these features and now let me reach at the end of this footage and let us say i want to add a picture here and my voice over here this is a totally different workflow you can use to record videos by using ispring cam pro you can insert any picture and you can put your voice over by using this record microphone function so i will go through all these options let us first click on this picture and i insert this picture this is an additional slide which i want to explain in this video lesson so what i do is i click on this record microphone so i click on start record and then i can read my script so i click on that trello is a collaboration tool that organizes projects into boards can be used for various projects such as content creation outsourcing and then i click on done now i got this audio and because this image must be shown while i am reading this script so what i can do is i can select this i hover over this i click and drag to match these two and now i can play and i can hear my voice while the image is on the screen so in this way what you can do is that if you have a presentation or even a set of images you can put your set of images here you can record your voice over narration and you can create your video lesson or any training video this way this is another option for you and if you don't want to use your own voice ispring pro also provides you a text to speech functionality which i am going to explain in a minute at the end of this video because first i want to go through all these features quickly now the next one is video if i click on this video i can select any video and i can insert inside my footage by clicking on this open and now my video is inserted i can put it just after this slide and let me cut all this so i split this and i delete this part and now what i want to show you is that this is the screen recording of my mobile phone which has different dimension so i can easily select this screen and then there is a crop feature which is highly powerful so i click on that and now i can crop my video to its actual dimensions and i click crop and now it has been cropped and you can place it let's say in the middle and you can do these minor adjustments one thing i forgot to talk about and that is video resolution as i mentioned earlier that you can set your video resolution inside the video editor but because i have now split this video into 1 2 
three and four components i will have to make adjustment to these four if you do this in the beginning you only have to make adjustment once but anyway let's do it to do that we click in the home tab and then properties and this is our starting resolution so i change this to 1920 by 1080 so i have to unlock this so that i can put exact value otherwise it will try to make the ratio same and then i click save and because i have increased the resolution now i have to make this resizing just once again just like that for all of these four parts so you can change the size here as well and then move it to the corner just like that similarly for this one you select this and you either just change the size of these two and you can put the pre-size of this small video by typing here so that all of these four parts have the same size let's say i want this to be 500 so now i will put the same size in the next part i just put 500 here and it will be same for this one i select here and i put 1920 by 1080 so you might have to uncheck this keep aspect ratio but then you can simply move it and now meanwhile it's good practice that you check your video by moving this needle all across your footage so from time to time you keep checking your footage now i want to show you few more features before publishing the video one is that you can also insert any audio from your file because i use a separate microphone of high quality in addition to my webcam microphone and my desktop headphone so in that case i can also insert a audio file from that microphone but then i have to match those audios so before you start cutting your footage first you match your audio and now i'm going to show you a few more features if you put your cursor anywhere and you right click you can insert any track above or below or you can move any track up or down and if you select any video clip and you right click you can also change the speed of the video so for example i click on this video and i change the speed and now one will appear here one means 100 percent are normal speed and now if i put my cursor at the end and if i go rightwards it means i am trying to slow down the video the video will take more time to run and as you can see that now it has 0.79 it means that the video has been slowed down to 79 percent of its original speed so very useful feature but but make sure that normally we do this only where we want to move the video part not the audio part because sometimes you want to show something very quickly without the audio then you do that because if you do it with the audio then your audio will be distorted so let's undo this and now another important feature is inserting text and transition effects so let's say i want to put some text here so i put my needle here and then i click on text box and then i draw a text box here a default text will appear i can change the font size i can change the text itself i can resize by using this text box and if i don't want this background so i can click on this fill and i can click on no fill now because the text was white so i can change the color to green and now this text box will appear here on the timeline now if i want to add some transition i click on the home tab click on transitions and many transitions will appear on this left hand side as you can see so just as an example i apply this smoothly fade transition so i drag this transition to this text box and i release my cursor and now if i hover at the corner i can see that fade transition has been applied with a duration of one second now to check this i can run my video and you will see the text will appear and fade so i run my video and the text fades away and now at the end i would like to show you how to convert text to speech in ispring cam pro so first i want to insert another slide at the end of my footage i put my needle here i insert a picture and i insert this picture and now whatever is written on this slide i want to convert it to speech and i have this text on my google document so i copy this control c and now go back to home tab and click on this audio 
text to speech and now I will see this dialog box. I put my cursor inside and control V paste this text and now I can select any voice. So let's select the top one. There are few male and female voices available and I select British English. There are some other languages available as well. And now if I want, I can listen a preview voice. Hi, my name is Daisy. I can easily convert your text to speech. And once I am happy with the voice, now I can click on insert. And this text has been now converted to an audio speech, which is here. And now I can simply increase the size of my slide. So the slide is on the screen when audio is playing. And now everything is ready and we are ready to publish this video. So I click on home tab and publish. And I'm happy with this name and I click publish. And this video is 1 minute and 45 second nearly long and it took around 2 and a half minute to create this video and now publishing is complete. I can send this video to any FTP destination. I can email myself as an attachment. I can play the video and I can also see in the folder. So let us first see in the folder and we check the resolution of the video. So I click on that and this is our video. I right click on that properties and then I click on details and as you can see that our resolution is perfect 1920 by 1080 which is high definition video. So now once I have checked the resolution I can close this and I can play the video. So I click on play video and now the video is being played. I have removed myself. So let's go ahead and this is the annotation which we put there. Let's move further ahead and this is the text fading away. This is our slide and this is my mobile phone's screen and now let's listen to the text to speech. This is the text to speech functionality in iSpring Cam Pro which is very powerful when you don't want to use your own voice in your video lessons and training videos. You can add voiceover narrations by using the artificial intelligence feature of text to speech in iSpring Cam Pro. Now one last thing I would like to show you is this cursor properties. As you can see that this cursor has a yellow circle around it. So how to set this cursor properties? Close this as well. To set this uh, pointer properties, I click on this properties and because this is checked, show the cursor and highlight the cursor. So therefore our cursor was shown and highlighted. If I click on this, I can customize the colors as well. And now let's talk about whether you should be using a free software or a paid software. If you use a free software such as OBS, there is a steep learning curve. You have to learn a lot. And some free software, they put their watermark. Some are very slow in producing videos. And iSpring Cam Pro is not just a screen recorder. It is also a lightweight video studio. And it will cost you around $20 per month. But if you are a professional course creator, or if you are running a company, this is worth paying these $20. So I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.